was a mobile fashion truck. So essentially you take a food truck and instead of tacos and burgers and fries, we sell dresses, accessories and the like. But our main goal is that we keep everything as close under $100 as possible because I don't want to pay over $100 for something and I don't want to have to charge somebody that outrageous price as well. So because we have mobile business, it's a low overhead, that way I can keep my prices low for our customers. Thailand, you can find mobile bars. In India, they have creative mobile uh, food vendors. Uh, in Japan, you can purchase a cell phone from a mobile vendor. So, I mean, it's, it's not unheard of. We're just trying to pave the way for those in Canada because there's not that many of us out here. So I gave them a call in Penticton and they said, yeah, we have a motorized vending permit. It's perfect. Um, it sounds like a great idea. I've never heard of it before, but what a great addition to the city. Um, she said, just check with the girls at um, Parks and Rec when you're ready. They'll help you with the paperwork and you'll be on your way. So a year later and $50,000 later, we have the truck went to Parks and Rec and they said, yeah, no, it's only for food trucks. I said, well, I was told that uh, it's a motorized vending permit. They said, well, we just changed it a few months ago. It's now only for food trucks. So now I'm trying my best to get it changed so that we can actually have the same opportunities as a food truck so that I can park at the convention center um, and park at Skaha Beach and um, all, all the beaches and parks and just have that same opportunities because right now I have a business license but I'm not allowed to park anywhere in town.